Steve, Bianca, unlike UNC's most recent chancellors, whose bulk of experience came in academia, Robert's background is a bit more varied, where he spent time in the public and private sectors, as well as at school down the road. As students snap graduation photos and take a sip from the iconic old well, just a few short feet away, there will soon be a new chancellor working out of the South Building. And I think he'll bring a, bring a new, fresh voice to UNC Chapel Hill's uh, campus. Lee Roberts was budget director under former Governor Pat McCrory, who heaped praise during a one-on-one -on -one interview with ABC 11. Well, I expect a true professional, a very hard worker, very apolitical worker, a strong administrator, a great communicator, not just in giving communications, but he has some of the best listening skills of anyone I've been around, and he's brilliant. Robert served on the Board of Community Colleges and Banking Commission. He also co-founded an investment firm in Raleigh. The question, how does that translate into leading the state's flagship university? This is the one of the hardest jobs in the world. Holden Thorpe was UNC's chancellor from 2008 through 2013 and spoke with Robert earlier today, offering him support and guidance. He compared his background to that of former interim chancellor Bill McCoy, namely his extensive business experience and ties to the UNC system. And if he ends up being the next Bill McCoy, that'll be a really great thing for the University of North Carolina. A close friend of Chancellor Guskowitz, Thorpe backed his decision to accept the president's role at Michigan State, describing a tense relationship with the Board of Trustees. They did many things publicly that could have been done uh, between him and the board that ended up creating chaos that didn't need to be there. And so when you have chaos going on, as I know as well as anybody who sat in that office, it's very hard to do your job. Roberts is the son of journalist Stephen Roberts and the late Koki Roberts, a Duke graduate. He taught budgeting at the Sanford School of Public Policy. We should note that Chancellor Guskwood served as an interim capacity for about 10 months prior to assuming the full-time role. Steve Bianca will have to see if history will repeat itself once again on campus here in Chapel Hill. I'm yeah. Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.